So welcome back guys again to another part of our coding. Well, many have been asking me like what, how can they put their um, portfolio that they've already built from our last class, from our last live class on a, through a link for them to send to their customers. So today I'll be showing you without having a domain name or hosting, you can as well get a link for the portfolio you've already built then you can send the link to your customers to help them to see or you can put it in your link kit your um, cv and so on so that people can see the work you are doing or you've done so there's a site i would like us to do that which i'll be teaching you today on how to do that although i've already have that site on my email email so i'm going to use another email for today so the name of the website is replit.com. So after typing and click on enter, as you can see, this is the website. So you go to sign up, click on sign up. You can either continue with Google or your GitHub. But I know most people don't have GitHub for now because they don't know how to use it. So don't worry, we will teach you how to do that. So I'm going to use this email, our email. So it's still loading. It's not asking you how much of the question experience do you have? If you don't have any, click on none. If you are a beginner, click on this. If you are and if you are a post, so you click on then. How do you plan to use this? Is it for your work or personal use or for school? So you can click for school because you are still learning. So I'm going to click for intermediate because this is not the email I use for mine. So you just sample, then I can click for SC for work, then and click start building. So it's asking of my country. So it gets me 14 days access to every school. So if you want to go, I do a free 14 trial of every school. No question. That if you want to go for pro. But if you are not, you don't need to. So I'm going to for my country. Then yeah, click on scene. It's asking to put the phone number. Okay, let me click ask me later. We don't need that because I don't want a phone. So now what am I building on? Um remember what we used was on HTML and CSS only. Then if it was Python, we used for Python and just click on it. But so since it's on um but only HTML CSS, so I'll just click on HTML to CSS as you can see. So, what's the name of um, the project you want to do? So, you can just type um, my portfolio, like the template, then description, a portfolio of my work, then can just click use template. So it's not greeting us. Welcome to work is where you create projects on Replit, next and so on. So this is a sample. This is trying to tell you how it works. So these are code editor. It's then teaching you what to do about with it. This part here is the code editor part. So you can also print whatever you want. So I'm going to close this. So whatever you print here, whatever you code here, will be showing here for you to see. So what I have now, what I'm going to do now, is since I already have my portfolio, I have it coded already in my BS code. So I'll go to my file, where my portfolio is. I'll go to desktop. Then this is it for portfolio class. I'll right click and open it with my BS code. So let's wait for it to load. So after opening it with your BS code, then we are going to paste our code on the webplit.com we just sign up for. So let's wait for it to load. Waiting for my VS code to load. So here's my VS code. So let me go to my index.html first. So I'm going to copy my code out from this index. So I still load it. Okay, it has loaded. So I'm going to copy. Then I'll go to my 
then remember it's index of html make sure that the name the same name of the file is what you are seeing here you created that with index of html so this is it so we are going to delete this now and paste the one we just control v so we pasted it now pasted our index of html so if you want to run this you just you just click on run then you see it by the right hand side here so let's wait for it to go thank you so the reason why I share like this is because we've not included our CSS file. Remember, the CSS is the one that usually gives us what makes it beautiful. So now, this is style.css. We don't need this. So you click on style.css and you go to your VS Code. Make sure that it's the name. You name it. This is styles.css. So let's check if it's named this thing. So this is named style.css. So let's see if we can rename it so that it will match what. So I click on that three dots. So I'm going to rename it now. So I put S. Can you see? So enter. So we've already created this now. So let's go to our styles or CSS now and copy the code there. Do not forget to like our video, subscribe if you enjoyed this, and comment. You can also sh share to those that you think you need this knowledge as well so if you have any questions do not forget to put it on the comment section so i've copied control copy and control paste now so i'm going to rerun again so it's work make this html here to make make it beautiful so let's run it now and let's wait and see so can you see can you see can you see that all the pictures here are not showing yes they are not showing because they are not inside this file this is another part it's not inside your vs code so what are we going to do now we'll go to where our document is so i'm going to copy first before going to document let's go to the file here let's pick three dots here upload file so now i can see yeah, upload the file go to desktop go to the file name you created the folder name portfolio class double click on it. then copy all the code and uh, sorry all the pictures there copy all the pictures there because all the ones you know you use so copy them as you can see i'm copying them one after the other i now use all these ones i think i used this one So if you want to copy them, click on Ctrl down and start clicking on each of these. After you click on Ctrl, click it one after the other, then click on Open. So they are already there automatically. So as you can see. So now let's rerun and see if those pictures will show. So let's wait for it to load. So you can see here that it's still loading. You can see. So can you see that all the pictures are now showing because we already copied them in three. So let me scroll down for you to see. Can you see your pictures? You can also extend it if you want to view it better. Can you see? Now if you want to view this on the main browser, click on this arrow here. Open a new tab. Click on it. Okay, let's go back. It's not showing. So what we are going to do is copy this. I'm ready. So Ctrl C and go to a new tab. Control paste. Sorry, I'm coming. Control paste. Then click enter. So as you can see, you already have a link to your portfolio. So it's so simple and easy. In fact, <laughs> you need a lot of. Now, the, the, can you see this picture is not showing because it's not there. Maybe you did not add it to it. Blog post services so now you can see that some of the code are scattered like this one so you are going to adjust it in your html and the rest blog post is in the center you can just remove all these ones that are in the center go we'll put them on center again we adjust it all the ones that are shown in the center remove it from center so let's go back to our html now click on the index of html so all this my portfolio so all this h1 tag that already in center um, let's see which one again. Our uh, P tag. You see it now. Let's go. This H2, H1, H2 that are in center. H3. 
let's our contact down. Let's see the name. H2. So we'll go to our style of CSS now. Can you see? We are trying this H2 test align center. So we will change it. We tell it not to be in center. So all the H2 will no longer be in center. Let's see if we put other ones in center. Okay, no. So now let's delete this. So now let's go back to our portfolio and refresh. I think it has adjusted back automatically. Let's see. Now let's see. Can you see about me is already there's no longer a center? Then what the graphic design too is there's no longer a web development is there. Your services, blog post, team members are already there. Then your contact is already there in the right place. Can you see? So after you have built your portfolio, just try sign up on this website, replit.com. But if you are still finding it difficult to sign up on the website, do not forget to do what? To ask questions. So that is the name of the website. I would like you to try your own. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.